Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jess and we are just here sharing our journey to become debt free. If you can't tell, it's late at night and I am showered and my hair is like halfway wet. So you're getting me in the real raw like situation. If you're new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and then follow me on Instagram and let's get into this video. As promised, today's video is going to be a February budget recap. And in February, we put more than double the amount to our debt snowball than we did in January, which was awesome. We expected that, but I am planning on like going forward, continuing to try to stay really consistent with that number as close to it as possible. And if not like exceed it, that would be awesome. This video is not gonna be too super long, we're just gonna kinda go through the numbers and I'll update you just on how the budget went in February and that's about it. Let's go ahead and get into it. First thing is if you haven't seen this budget template, you'll see that I have a budgeted column and an actual column for the budget recap. We do go through the actual column and then I'll kinda talk about the remaining column on some of them. So. You'll see here that the income for this category, for Russell's category, was a little lower, $45 lower than the previous month, um, which is what we budgeted for, but I think that had to do with some extra duty that he, ha he had on his paycheck. Mine were actually $3 more, both of the paychecks, and then uh, FSA, both stayed the same, so that made our total income 6330 which was only $39 off of what we expected. So, you know, I'm not mad about that. Now we go down here to the debt category. In this category, we paid everything the same as we have been. Nothing different, except I do believe that this baby number three is a new thing for this month because if you look back at January, it was not there. So we are paying $250 a month towards the baby now. That is a planned expense. It's not actually a debt yet, but that will be something that will be billed after the baby is born for our remaining debt. Uh, so basically I'm just keeping it in that category. From there, and like I said, if you haven't been around, I haven't said this yet, I don't know why I said that, but if you haven't been around, um, these are all student loans, and then this very top one here is a car payment. Scrolling down to expenses, whoops, we have got, everything was pretty okay in this category. Rent was 750, just like we expected. Daycare 800, just like we expected. Dance was 42, iCloud was five. The gym, we budgeted 59 and it actually was 125. And that is because we had switched up what we were doing and then some things changed and <laughs> we ended up going back to our old gym but we kept uh, our new like family membership at the gym that we had switched to basically for the other benefits and it's an entire family gym membership. So we are still actually under what we were paying a few months ago, even with that, but we did go $66 over in that category. Now we will be budgeting 125 every month for now until I have the baby and then my membership will stop until I can go back after the four, six, eight weeks, whenever I get cleared. That's just something that it's, it's so worth it to be a part of our gym and the community that we, we can participate in, I guess. So that's just a personal preference. If you're not a gym person, you might not understand that, but that did change. Uh, my chart was 52, AT&T was 60. So right on, actually I budgeted 159, or sorry, I budgeted 59 and it was 60, so it was a dollar over. Verizon 165, perfect. Netflix, I budgeted 15, it was 15.99. Whoopsie daisy. 
uh, water was actually $75.91, so we went over about $6 there. And then gas, again, we have this weird lapse. I don't know why, but now instead of paying our gas and our electricity, which is this Evergy bill, at the very end of the month, it's having us pay it at the beginning of the month. So there was this weird lapse. So this month, gas actually didn't come out, which was what happened with the Evergy bill last month. But the Evergy bill did come out. It was uh, 107, so we do have this $110 that didn't get spent on gas and we went over $3, I'm sorry, we stayed under $3 for the Evergy bill. Amazon $12.99, car insurance $105. Now here's where things got a little fishy and not the best, is our variable income. You can tell it's late. Our variable expenses. I'm sorry if this light keeps going in and out, it's a mess. So food, we budgeted 800 and we ended up going over by $34.90. Um, I didn't account, I always grocery shop on Saturdays and in February there were five Saturdays. And so it ended up technically in February, I needed to grocery shop for five Saturdays. It, 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 it all makes sense in my brain, but I've, didn't calculate in that fifth Saturday. Usually it's about four Saturdays that I'm calculating. So I do $200 a week, $800 for the month. Well, I fudged up, but I made it work. We didn't go over too, too bad. I am not mad about that. Gas, we went over by about a little less than $6. Again, we're trying to figure this out with my new vehicle. It is bigger, it takes more gas. It's not by much, but we are still trying to kind of navigate where that budget item needs to be. The dogs, we budgeted 30 and we ended up needing to get the dog food. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to use our February and our March money together. That's why I budgeted 30. Um, we ended up having to get dog food earlier than we thought. So we went $26 over in that category. Miscellaneous. We always have 100 as the budget. We went over by 28.61, and that was just just us spending things or spending on things we didn't need to spend on. So like grabbing a bite to eat, or there were a couple like serious things that I had to get done. I had to, just a little thing that had to get done on my car, and then some lotion for Jay, and just some like things we actually needed, and then a couple things that were like ice cream or uh, grabbing some fast food, which we're trying not to do, but still not too, too bad. Beauty, um, 130 was the budget, 135 was what we spent. I think it ended up being that we went over $5 because I had to get, had to. I was getting cash out to pay with cash and I got, I needed 30 and I had to get out 40 and so I spent, spent the 35 with the tip and then the extra five dollars um was just out in that category fun we did well we actually used this budget for our valentine's day and so we only went over two dollars i'm happy with that unbudgeted these this is just random things that come up that i didn't budget for so i can have a place to put them was 3407 total that was uh, Med Express, which was like I went to get my mouth checked out when I had this weird reaction to something. Um, and then we did get ice cream. Like I said, we are not perfect humans, but I, I'm just trying to be transparent. So if you see those out there, that's what those are for. And savings. So I'm in control of this, so I, I don't go over in this category. Kids savings, we budgeted zero, spent zero. Family savings, budgeted 75, put in 75. That budget is now at what we want it to be at. Medical, we budgeted 50, put in 50. Camera and Christmas, both 100. That is um, the camera fund will only go until we get enough to get a camera. And then the Christmas fund will be all year long. Emergency fund is at 1,000, so we're keeping it there. We're not contributing any more. So the total before the snowball 
was $5,531.04. And then, hi, Bubba. And then the snowball was supposed to be $798.96, which would have given us a zero-based budget. And we ended up having a bigger amount in the bank account, like from last month, that we could have probably given a little bit more to our actual snowball. But we were a little bit conservative just in case. So we had a couple of hundred extra dollars or like 150 extra dollars to put towards snowball this month. So you'll see down here, the actual snowball was $950 and that was Last month we put 400, I believe. Yeah, 400, so that's more than double. So I was excited about that. And then I obviously take all these numbers and I move them over into our yearly tracker. Whoops, February. So there are a few things I haven't updated in the yearly tracker. And then I am keeping tally on our debt trackers, which there's a couple things in here also that I haven't updated yet. But if you're interested in this budget spreadsheet, you can um, find it on my or in my Etsy shop. I'll link that down below. It's always linked in all of my videos, so if you want to check it out, it's a couple two ninety nine or so, and you get um, all of this, and then it has instructions. And then I have a space that I put my financial goals. We did not do perfect on the budget this month, but uh, I'm still really, really happy about a nine hundred fifty dollar snowball plus. The $183 payment to what our snowball is, which is our trailblazer, if you don't know. I'm happy with that. Clearly, there are some things we could work on. And, you know, going to get some ice cream here and there, going to grab some quick food every once in a while is just not good for our budget. But we're still using our categories for those things. But we're just going to try to tighten up a little bit to make sure we're hitting those numbers exactly in the next couple months to keep from getting too out of hand. I do think that it's good to have those categories so that we can grab some ice cream here and there, but I wanna make sure we're not going over them, obviously. I know this video is not frivolous and nice and fancy and cute, but I just wanna be real with you and I said that I would share these numbers with you next, so I didn't want to leave you hanging, I guess. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and then make sure you hit the subscribe button because it really helps support my channel and we will see you in three days. I'm thirsty, I need some water. Hey, let's do a funny one of us. This isn't, this is a regular video. But I'm gonna do something funny. Okay, we'll do something funny. No, it's funny. Can you do like this? Watch yeah. this one, do this. Do this? Can you do this? <laughs> I was trying to do a funny. <laughs> she wanted to do a funny face, but...